Well, good morning and welcome to the Wellness Homesteader. So this morning I thought we would do something a little bit different. I'm going to make some banana walnut bread in the bread machine. And I thought I would just bring you along because I have never tried to make a sweet bread in the bread machine. So today it's overcast right now. We're forecast to get a significant amount of rain and then our first hard freeze this evening. So early this morning, I went outdoors, yes, in my pajamas to do my chores and harvested the remainder of my peppers. I did get another vase of cutting flowers from my amazing, amazing zinnias. So next year, I will definitely be planting more of these. Very hardy flower. And I'm hoping I can get some seeds out of these because I haven't saved any yet. So I also have, I'm, I want to try to get caught up and a little bit ahead on videos. So I have a few projects I want to work on today. So if you see me in the same outfit, it's not that I don't change clothes or bathe. It's just simply I did several videos in one day. So back to the Zoji Rushi. Up until a, about a year and a half ago, I had a traditional uh, bread machine where the bread pan was upright. So you had a vertical puff on the top, not the regular loaf looking pan of bread. And I always thought that was kind of strange. Didn't really affect the taste, but it, you couldn't pass it off like you made it <laughs> um, by hand because it was obviously from a bread machine. My bread machine was from 1981. I received it as a wedding gift back when I was married. And, um, it, it served me faithfully, but I decided I would like to have, because I do use it a lot, I'd like to have a real quality bread machine that does a little bit more than what my 1981 model did. So I purchased with birthday money, the Zoji Rushi uh, Virtuoso and it's model PDC 20. And <laughs> I did do a little gander on Amazon this morning. My recall is I paid around $4.75 for the bread machine. I know that's super pricey, but considering I had my first bread machine for almost 30 years, I assume that this will last me a lifetime. And Zojirushi makes high, high quality products like rice cookers, etc. So I was willing to spend the money. However, I will tell you that this model that I have today on Amazon was $699, which I would not have spent, even though I love the machine, have no complaints about it. I'm not sure if it's price gouging, if it's supply and demand because of COVID being a non-US made product, in full disclosure, or if they've raised the price in anticipation that a lot of people are going to be asking for bread machines for Christmas. But irrespective of what kind of bread machine you have, I thought I would bring you along I've never made this recipe before and show you how you can make a sweet bread in your bread machine. So if you don't have the time to watch over your bread or you don't want to heat your house up with your oven, this does not put quite as much heat into the environment and is a really good option. So let me swing it around. And yes, here's my beautiful machine. And we're going to get started. Now this calls for a cup and a half of very ripe bananas. So I actually had four bananas that I had smashed, put into a vacuum seal bag and frozen. So I thought, well, I can get two loaves. Well, actually they must've been teeny weeny bananas because a cup and a half was four bananas for me. So to your bananas, we're going to add a quarter cup of sour cream. So that is the first item. It says to mix it together well, although the machine will do it for you. So I'm just going to put this into the machine. And another benefit of sweet bread is if you don't have yeast or you're not comfortable with bread that requires yeast, and I know for a while you couldn't buy yeast, but at least now in my area you can, a sweet bread is a great option. And I really love to take banana bread. I, I'm gonna put some walnuts in it and then put some 
nut butter, whether you like almond butter or peanut butter, adds a little bit of protein, you know, cut a slice, toast it, melt that nut butter on it, mm, so good. And, and really not terribly bad for you. Okay, so to this, we are going to add half a cup of vegetable oil, and I used corn oil, and two eggs. So that's our next addition. So we've got all of our liquids in the bottom, and I'll pull you over closer to show you what this looks like in just a moment. Vanilla extract, you could use walnut extract, I decided to follow the recipe exactly because I do want this to come out. I, When I bake bread, I usually share with neighbors and that way um, I don't have to worry about too much bread making too much Kim. I'm still struggling, y'all, on this um, weight loss journey. I tell you, it's not for sissies. Um, I've done really well. I lost 25 pounds, but I'm kind of stuck. And I find that I'm not being as diligent as I should be on tracking my food. And for me, that accountability is super important. So, all right, next we are going to add our sugars. So here we go. I actually mixed up half a cup of white sugar. And then the recipe calls for a third of a cup of light brown sugar and a third of a cup of dark. Well, I kind of just make my brown sugar, how I make my brown sugar, and I don't have light and dark, so we are just going to put in what I have. And I'm gonna kinda distribute that around. The next thing that you want to add is two cups of all-purpose flour. So this doesn't even require bread flour, which is a nice option. And I'll share in just a moment my recipe book because I'm telling you it is marvelous. So I'm using half cup measures. I like using the half cup because I can distribute it across the pan a little more evenly. And you could certainly measure it out into a bowl and then dump it evenly. Also, half cup fits better <laughs> into my canister. All right, and this will be four, and we're set. I had thought originally about adding some blueberries to this, but I was afraid it might be a little too moist and not cook appropriately in the bread machine. So uh, I decided, nope, better stick to the recipe here. Now, on kind of in the middle here, I am going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm going to add this like in the middle, just like you would if you were adding yeast if you currently use a bread machine. Now the cake setting is what you would use, setting number 13 on my machine. Uh, some of the cycles have pauses where you add in like your raisins or nuts or chocolate chips for whatever you're making. This particular cycle does not. So I am going to sprinkle in a little bit of walnuts on the top here. And as this needs, this will all get incorporated very well. I don't have to worry about that. It calls for a half cup and I'm just going to use the remainder of the back, what I have, it'll add some healthy protein to the bread. All right, so I preset this and all I have to do is press start and I'm gonna scooch this back and share the recipe book with you. So I do have a lot of um, cookbooks, but I try to use them all and I buy a lot of my books from the thrift store, from the used books, um, store online like Abe, Abe's Books, I think it's called, sometimes off eBay. Uh, if I want a specific book that's kind of pricey, I will definitely go to the, go the used route, but I also love just going to the thrift store or Goodwill and perusing their cookbooks. But this one is called Bread Machine Cookbook and it has over 300 recipes. You can see I have a lot of um, bookmarks in here. I've made so many of the breads out of here and I have to tell you, I've been extremely pleased with the outcome of all of them. 
The actual Zojirushi recipe book is extremely limited. You can see it's super thin. And the reviews on Amazon for their brand of bread book were not good. So I have not purchased it because I've done fine with this recipe book. So this will take about, I think it takes about three hours and 20 minutes. It will just be a moment in time for you all, but I will bring you back, show you how I unmold the bread and remove the pan, and then we'll have a taste of our banana bread and see how it came out. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Our bread machine has just beeped that it's complete, and I'm so excited to show you this beautiful bread. So let me bring you closer and tip you down into the machine. So you might notice there's a sheen or a shimmer on the top of the bread. So what I like to do with sweet breads is to take, this happens to be shimmer sugar. I had a little bit left from some type of cupcake or decorating a cake project that I had. But you can also use like coarsely ground sugar. I think they call it sanding sugar or even organic sugar to sprinkle on the top. I'm just trying to clear out some things in my pantry. So I thought I would use that up. So in, in order to remove the uh, pan, you simply pull it towards you and lift. Now this is extremely hot. So let me sit it down and swing you around and show you unmolding. So sometimes this is a bit of a predicament, uh, but you do want to remove, oh, the stars are aligned today. You want to remove it quickly before it starts to cool because then it can be kind of difficult to get out. Oh my word, boy, is that ever good. So I cooked this on a dark crust so that it would get done all the way through. Let me just hold it up for you. And you can see it made quite a lovely loaf. The little lines on top are where it touched the cooling rack. And you could prevent those by putting down um, like a parchment paper first. So I'm going to let this cool or try to before I cut it. That's always the exciting part of bread making. You're so tempted to cut into it. But most breads need to cool because if you cut them too soon, even though they taste yum, and I'll fully admit that, what happens is, is they lose moisture out of the bread because you've cut into that crust. And then your bread does not have the same texture, richness and moisture that it would if you would be patient. And I know that's sometimes hard to do. So I'm going to let this cool and wash up my pan, put away my machine, and then I'll bring you back for a taste test. Well, our beautiful bread has cooled, and as you see, some of the dark spots are from, you know, the fruit, the banana in it, but it is dense and moist and rich looking, so let's do the taste test. Wow, is that ever good. Mm -mm -mm. It was worth waiting for it to cool, for sure. You know, you should probably take a smaller bite <laughs> if you're videoing your taste test. Mm. So drop me a comment below. What is your favorite type of sweet bread? Have you ever tried to make a sweet bread in your bread machine? Or do you always do it by hand in the oven? So be well. Be healthy, be blessed, and have a wonderful day.